Alright, I need to refer to a working one to make sure that I have the design right. Alright, now we can get this mess on the road, get things moving. probably end up having to change the entrance to this place into a more convenient location, but that won't be a problem. Stone torch to operate it. rail to bring a freshly dropped cart upwards and let's go ahead and get a cart and put it in, put it through there to make sure that I have this arrangement correct here to power that. Alright. Now let's load these carts into the system.
All right, now let's see here. All right, just a second. It's been a while since I've built one of these, so I have to kind of refresh myself on exactly how it works. I sort of suspected that, that was the case. This arrangement here uh, is okay, but I need to move this thing forward a little bit. needs to land on a flat bit of track and then go up an incline. this again. Power rail here for it to land on. Regular rail to travel it forward. And right here, we put a detector rail so that as the cart goes over this rail, it sends a signal back to this arrangement here to trip the thing into running again, to launching another cart. Let's get some more light back here. All right.
Okay. Very good. There's the other cart. Range for power for this rail. Change out my shovel. for the circuit from from that detector rail it needs to go back say to here on wire back here. Okay, we'll have to move it over. Okay, I'll get some glass and fill that in another time because glass won't cut off the redstone signal. Let's go ahead and bury this torch out of sight. Carts back in and give this thing a test. Okay, we have two carts in the system. And I'm going to need a third one, aren't I? Of course I am. Well, actually, not for testing. Alright. The main test is when a cart goes over this detector rail, the PEZ dispenser will set out a new one. And it did. That's all we need. And then an incoming cart comes through here, lands there, and then when you get out of it, you're walking past this, and that sends the cart back into the PEZ dispenser. 
and just to make sure that you have to walk on that put a column here so that you have to go this way and the opening is only one block wide so the cart will go through but the passenger will not All right, that will be good. That works. All right, I'll just need to put a button over here to activate this. I'm going to go ahead and change this out so there's two powered rail at the launcher so that the thing will have a good start put the push button there to launch with. I think I have one in the shack here. And if I don't, I'll just make one, of course. And I figure so. All right. Yes, I am going to have to read this rework where the entry is going to be but that's not a problem as a matter of fact let's see Yeah, that'll work. Okay, it's not the most pretty station in the world, but it works. And that's really all I require of it right now. It can be prettied up or made to look better later on. Uh, I will work on that and see what I can come up with. I need to put a roof on this thing. And probably some better, no, definitely some better lighting. But other than that, essentially, the station itself is pretty much done. Let's see, what I can do here is this to conceal the works. the walls up one more block and then put a roof across the top of this thing and we'll be in business. Yeah. That'll work. It's not exactly a luxury station but it will serve for the time being and we can worry about putting together something fancier at a later time. That doesn't need to be open anymore because we now have a walkway directly into the shack. And that works good. If I can just get this straight with having a three block high opening instead of a two, that'll work. Okay. Let's have some smooth stone through here. There's 
walk through here, select which track you want to use, and then hop in the cart, hit the button, and go. Couldn't ask for an easier operation. All right, now that this is finally sorted out, let me unload some of this stuff that I'm not going to need for a while. And I am going to get in gear with laying the track bed back to the main station. And let's see, I'm going to have to pick up some fence posts and more torches so that I can light the track as I lay the track bed and not end up having that problem to deal with later. So I'm going to get the fence posts and we'll come back here and start the track from here back to the main base station. Or the Frobaz Tower Station or whatever you want to call it. Catch up with you in a bit. All right. Got the fence posts and enough sandstone to go ahead and get the roof done on this thing, so. Ah. That was a fail jump. There. That's better. Alright, now... I'm going to take this up one more block all the way around and then put a roof on it and then we'll go ahead and get our track made back to the main station. Okay, need to go ahead and get some more sandstone and finish this off. I should take care of it. Alright, I'm going to finish this roof off and get some lights on it, and then we'll get the track going. Alright, I've got all my materials together, and now I'll go ahead and get track two built out, go up a ways, and then take this sucker back to the main base, and hook it up with track five. I think what I'm going to do is go go ahead and uh, speed forward through some of this, you know, uh, speed up the footage, because otherwise uh, building track 
laying down track bed is sort of boring so I'm just going to speed that up and get it done going to head that way a ways and then head out actually I think I'll turn and head this way first and take this thing back in to track 5 at the main minecart station and what I'll be doing this time which is going to be a little bit different than previous tracks is I'm going to be setting up one of these every seven blocks. All right, that's one. So much for not having any trees in the track path. side this should only be one Looks like I'm getting close here. <laughs> <laughs> 